Hey, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. What up guys? This is Monkey Figure Reviews and as promised in my last video, today I'm back with another figures news update talking about upcoming Ichiban Kuji series from One Piece. So there's a total of two new series and it was a bit much to include them in my last video. So today we're just gonna focus all on them and let's get started. The first one as you can see on the screen I'm not sure if I got the series name correct, so if you guys know um, it's right or wrong, just post them in the comment section below. But the name I got is called Ichiban Kuji Professionals, which is kind of weird and it, it's slated to be coming out in December 2019 this year. So you take a look at the picture and you can see there's five figures. We have Luffy, A, Sabo, uh, Zoro, Sanji, so really cr quite a huge roster. Um, popular characters, unfortunately, that they have been recycled so many times in Japan Kuji. I think the only one that they are lacking is just Law. <laughs> if they include Law in, like, these are the six most popular figures that they always do. But I still gotta say, even though they are kind of, you know, repeated characters, they, I was really excited when I saw the promotional images. The figures look really amazing. Uh, you can see they are doing like dynamic attack poses with special effects to give it a bit more flair. So I was curious actually to who is the sculptor behind all this picture, all these figures. And I went to check it out and apparently it's Mr. Saito Hill. And he did some of my favorite figures like this Zoro from Figure Colosseum and also this Doflamingo from Figure Colosseum. If you own these figures, uh, or if you see my videos, you can see that the details on the coats on Duo Flamingo is insane. Really highly detailed, the pose is also dynamic. And on this Zoro, amazing pose. The details on his outfit is also insane. You can see like creases, cuts, uh, some wear and tear. Really incredible. And to this date, these two are still among my top figures. Okay, so, my point is safe to say, I think, um, when we look at the final product, they should be high quality as long as Bandai Spirits uphold, you know, the standards from the prototype. So let's take a closer look at the figure starting from A Price Luffy. I think he's doing his Gomu Gomu no Red Hawk attack. I'm not 100% sure, but it seems like it seems that way. And just looking at this picture, you can see already how dynamic this is. Just kind of just punching forward and he looks really pissed off and angry. I like his face. He kind of, his eyes is kind of like, you know, they have like the hollow out pupil. So I'm pretty sure they always do that when they use Conqueror's Haki or something. But it's hollow out and uh, his face is just menacing. The hair looks really well done. I can see the, the some creases on the outfit. Generally, the proportion seems to be pretty good, but let's take a look at more angles. This is another shot. Just throwing his punch out. And the flames is just kind of you know, following a spiral towards the back. Another angle that is pretty similar. Okay, so this is a side view, and I think here you can see how far he extends towards the back. Uh, I think you can see his arm here, his fist. And this is just kind of like steam or flames. So really, really cool. And if you were to focus on his main body, you can see also the details are pretty good. The straw head, especially the damage done by Buggy. Little fold over here while it's resting on Luffy. Creases here, the flow towards the back, creases on the pants. Some of the muscles sculpted onto his legs as well. This is this is the back view, and I think it's very obvious here. It kind of looks like a nice spiral towards the back. This is the other side, and I think yeah, here is really clear. You can see the fist is kind of extending towards the back, so it's more of him getting ready to throw the punch, pulling it backwards, kind of charging it. And I think these are steam turning into flames, which is you know which eventually appears when he he does the attack. So it's kind of cool, you know, it's not entirely steam and it's not entirely flames. It's kind of in between. Uh, it's coming out from the arms, some parts from, I don't know, this is from the feet. 
but yeah just everything looks good uh, based on what I see from these pictures the details such as you know even the even the toes is bending forward here the muscles on his body pretty good let's move on to Ace so uh, Ace here is kind of doing some flaming attack too with his devil fruit powers it's kind of screaming and here he just they all look really dynamic to be honest and I also like how he did the flames just to always give all this circular craft uh, kind of kind of make like you know it kind of puts the figures in motion another angle not that feathering here but his body looks amazing muscles and everything um, the flames this I think this one's this one's uh, confirmed to be flames for sure this is the back view another spiral going on again towards the back and you can see the different degrees of the opacity and also the shading this is from the other side honestly I kind of think that you know how is it gonna stand <laughs> because he his, his seems to be jumping and it would be a bummer if all these figures are kind of ruined by a ugly base or ugly supporting stand but it looks really good it looks like flames coming out from his body here it looks insane okay next is Sabo so at least if you want to you can uh, the flaming brothers trio this is from the front view again circular motion of the f flames and is it me or the flames here look more opaque closer to his body and it looks really really good like look at over here his coat is kind of just burning transforming into flames very naturally uh, the creases here looks great some flames popping out his head the back here and from his legs this is the back view right you can see for yourself the amazing flames I don't think I have to repeat but it just seems to me like the flames here the transition looks a lot better a little bit more opacity opaque uh, flames over here and a little bit more translucent ones well I think uh, for Luffy and Ace it's just more kind of translucent design and once again circular motion I really wonder how they look like you know the three of them together really excited to see some real life pictures and you can see the flames also sort of burning up from the goggles too from the back of the head I gotta say so far all the three faces seem to be pretty spot on too nothing nothing too disappointing nothing too uh, deviating from the source material and this is Zoro and once again he looks incredible <laughs> if there's one figure I have to choose from for the five of them I have to choose Zoro he just always looks so amazing and like here he has this super calm face really calm and I don't know serious at the same time uh, we have bigger pictures here and it's just him doing you know a one sword style attack looking really serious and like you know not really bothering him but you can see this effects are kind of like shading on his bandana looks like ice frost or something uh, looks really cool and uh, obviously the flow of his kimono towards the back his other two swords here and this is the kind of effect that is coming out from the sword it's very long stretching all the way back further than his sword by his waist and there's a seam line here it's a bit unfortunate but you can see the muscle details absolutely incredible I'm not sure if it's just the, the image or something but he seems a little bit more pale in terms of the color much much less saturated so not sure if this is like this is edited by someone or this is the official and if the actual one will look bet better but it's kind of like a style 
Yeah, but he's just generally the whole figure is less saturated, more dull and gloomy design. There's another angle. Amazing. I really think that all these figures is just really incredible. Let me know what you guys think. Um, this is the back view. More crazy details on the kimono. And last but not least, we have our chef, Sanji. He's using his kicks, so the flames are just exploding out from them. From his right leg, particularly. And obviously, the pose is also really, really cool. Uh, his hair looks great. The f his whole right leg is on fire. And it's especially clear the sauce is right at the bottom, so it just kind of lights all the way up. I, I'm digging. The, I'm digging the flames on Sanji and Sabo more. It just, I'm just loving the variation with the opacity. And you can see also in this picture, it seems a bit more dull. So it could be the, I don't know. It could be some image editing done. But you can really see the creases. This one, I wonder how they're gonna support him. <laughs> I really, really hope and pray that they don't give them like weird ass supporting stands that are just gonna ruin the figure. Uh, his head looks great here, his tie falling towards the back. The back view. Incredible. Okay, so uh, moving on to our second series. This one is a lot more sure on my side. It is called the Ichiban Kuji. The Bonds of Brothers coming out in January 2020. So uh, this time around, we are getting this thing called Mustlice Extra, and from what I th what I saw, I figured it is just like the big size series we had a while back uh, that produced Zoro, Ace, and Trafalgar Law. So this is just like uh, big size figures in terms of scale. Uh, but they still kind of link it back to Master Lies. Okay. And you can see the the we are getting the trio brothers again. So really, really just repeating all the characters. Uh, the same few characters all the time. Um, but on this image, you can see Price A is really interesting. It's actually this uh, three of them when they were kids. Kind of just goofing around. Causing chaos. <laughs> causing trouble and then B price we have Luffy C price we have Ace and D price we have Sabo usually they'll put the better or rather the bigger figures as the you know the top price but this time around I think maybe it's a bit difficult to even them out so decided to put this first so this will be in theory much more rare uh, but let's take a closer look I Personally, don't think that's a lot to talk about. It seems like a very kind of simple style, uh, as you can see on 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 all of them. Even the straw hat, the details are not really there. Very clean type, almost like Grand Line Men. Um, but it says it's twelve cm over here from bottom to top, so I don't think it's very big. Um, personally, I would not get it, but it's pretty cute. It's honestly pretty cute with all. All three of them together, especially when you don't you don't have any other figures. For me, I have the POPs. Um, but if you want, you know, something just to have this three rascals together, I think I think this is a good choice. Next, we have Price B, which is Luffy, and I gotta say, I'm not a big fan of the face. Other than the face itself, if you look at the rest of the body, the scalp looks pretty decent, pretty alright. Also, not something that is super detailed. Um, kind of Grantista like if you ask me. The pose is your typical Luffy cracking knuckles pose, which is which is fitting. Um, but the face is, you know, it's just off. I'm not sure why, but his head seems a bit too big. Could be due to the hair. The eyes are a bit too big, and the smile is a little bit too unnatural. So kind of freaky if you ask me. And obviously, I think it's off poorer quality compared to the Grantista Luffy Nero which has fantastic faces so they seem to be of similar scale and uh, if I were to choose one I'll definitely choose the Nero this picture shows that the height is 28cm so 
Yep, like I said, pretty similar to Grand Star Luffy. Now, this is Ace, and this one is kind of interesting because he looks very similar to the big size Ace. I have a picture here. So, in essence, the pose is similar, or rather the same. Even the, the way the flames curl up seems to be the same. I wonder if they keep most of previous figures they have done so they can just replicate them easy. But this one, uh, the big size, we have his head on, we have his his back, and we also have him wearing his boots. But here he's kind of more like in his marine fort prisoner um, outfit. He got his weird slippers or... I don't know, loafers kind of thing. Um, no hats, no back. Looks very empty compared to this ace. This big size ace. So I'm not sure what to make of that. Um, to me, it's just kind of like a poor man's ace when compared to this. And if you were deciding to get this one, I would much rather suggest you to get this one instead. Yeah, that, that's my opinion. But overall looking at it, I think obviously the face is also pretty good, hair looks good, the body sculpt also seems to be very good. Um, some seam lines here on the right arm, but overall still pretty good. This picture shows that it's 30 cm, so really big, big size scale. Lastly, we have Sabo, and this is the one that I kind of laid my eyes on because he looks really good in terms of um, the face and the the sculpt, the general sculpt of his body also seems to be very good. We haven't had really good Sabo figures, especially from Ichiban Kuji. The last couple of them from Master Lies is, you know, they're just really bad. I don't like their faces. They look off, they have weird poses. But this one, looks kind of amazing. Uh, his body seems to be in good proportion, his face looks to be highly accurate, um, and the flames is just kind of something extra to add on. Really awesome if you ask me, digging the creases towards the bottom of his pants too. And this photo shows that it's also 30 cm so around the big size scale. Okay, um, that's all I have for these two new series. Let me know what you guys think, what figures you are aiming for, or if you're just going for the whole set. I know some of you are always going for the whole set. You guys are rich people. Alright, so that's all I have. Thank you guys. I will see you again. Goodbye.